What is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your ninth Ionic tutorial in which we'll be continuing with our newsfeed application kind of which we are developing from past two tutorials. So what we have done so far is I have made use of this simple ng repeat and because of this we are able to get a simple kind of JS1 response inside each of our list item but we want to do something better so to do that what I'm gonna do is first of all let me just create an h2 h2 and I'm gonna say news article dot and what it would be depends really on what I named that in the PHP so this would be title so here we go okay so we have got the titles right there and the titles actually require a bit of work for HTML because it's kind of encoded it has encoded the uh, the apostrophes and the quotes actually sort of so I'm gonna take care of that later on so for this one we have got the title then similarly uh, I'm gonna make use of p tags to get the content and as you can see this content right here appears but it's kind of chopped off because it's bigger than a line so it's you know it's kind of this much long but it's kind of chopped off so what I can do is I can actually just give both of these as no white space and no white space and inside if I just make use of the sidebar and go to my CSS file I'm gonna say no white space white space no wrap here we go and if I save this reload this okay no white space okay so it looks like it doesn't actually care about our styles so we could probably add some weight to our styles by saying no white space let's just see if that helps no not really so again I'm gonna say add a bit of more space more weight kind of I don't just like making use of important unless it's very important okay I give up let's just make use of important hit reload and what the hell was that are you serious right now let me just check this out and white space oh actually this wouldn't be no wrap this would be normal because we don't want no wrap well here we go and now we have got a nice little title and description for that news right there okay cool now the next thing let's hide the sidebar for now the next thing is that I want to link this news from original source so that the user can actually just view the whole news item from the page where it has come so if I just take a look at the API again you can see I provide a link right here for the full article and it just it's kind of a short link for from news and shots so I'm gonna say I'm gonna just wrap this whole article into or kinda I'm just gonna make use of let me think let's just try this out here because HTML5 now allows you to wrap the block level elements in an ahref tag as well so this would be this is going to be a completely valid uh, HTML so I'm gonna say news article dot link and pretty much that's 
gonna be it so wait a minute okay so that didn't really help a lot so what we can do is I can just shift the class item to this tag as well so now as you can see actually this whole item is clickable instead of just the title and the description so that's kind of helpful okay so next thing we have got is date and image so image might be interesting so I'm gonna say this is my IMG SRC and better make use of the NG SRC so that angular takes control news article dot image and probably we are done with this okay so this kind of works as you can see we are redirected to Twitter but you know this is kind of just bursting out of your mobile screen so you don't want that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this image shift to the left a little bit so that the title is aligned to the right and the content is below the title and the image is on the left the layout we talked about later on or I mean earlier so for this we don't actually need to apply our own CSS though you can but why do that when things are available by Ionic so I'm gonna do item thumbnail left and hit save and check that out what happened so if I can just get rid of this so as you can see all of the images are kind of shifted to left with equal dimensions so this kind of looks better than previously now you can just make this right as well and it would work equally good like that or you can just make it left and change thumbnail to avatar and you can see that it kind of turns into a you know the circular sort of image so this kind of looks nice but the description is sort of big if you see then what we can do is that you can either just trim this description from the front end or I can just do that from the back end as well so uh, that's not a big problem we can just manage that so we are pretty much done with this application but a couple of things are left and uh, probably we haven't implemented all of the stuff on as well so if I go to networks tab again and probably just reload the window or I guess we have changed pages so right here we have the date and time as well left so you can just make use of that date you can just show the date p as posted on then you can make use of the news article dot date and then the time one news article dot time p and here we go you can see this link uh, this kind of small little note right there and you can actually just bind that into an italics tag if you want to that would just kind of okay so it won't tilt because probably ionic is making use of the css reset so you can just do that from the css as well well that's not kind of that much important so i'm just gonna leave it with a dash right there so that it looks a little bit different so we are pretty much done with this application a bit of functions are left to implement like this reload or the new scroller right there so we'll be taking a look at that how this would be implemented in the next tutorial and if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one